Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some new geckos I got, as well as telling you about one particular gecko and a little incident I had recently. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get into it. So this is the first little guy, well, girl, I think, that I'm going to show you. She's still very young, so it's possible boys will show up, but as of right now, I'm gonna say she's female. And her name is Houdini, and she's kind of the topic of this video. Um, so, <laughs> I, last week, I guess it was, went to change up their water, their food. I like to just check on them, especially the babies, to make sure that they're doing okay. Um, and I noticed that this one I couldn't find, and I've had geckos hide before. They get under like paper towel or into the leaves. I use bio to set up, so sometimes they get kind of lost in there. Um, but I couldn't find her anywhere. I ended up tearing the bin apart <laughs> and no gecko. And I was like, how is it even possible that she's gone or that she's out? And I will show you how she ended up getting out because I did, I'm pretty sure this is the only way it was possible. I originally I thought, well, maybe it was because um, she like jumped out or something when I was putting the lid back on it and just didn't notice um, because she is, she's, she's very kind of finicky. Um, but I figured that was maybe how <laughs> she had escaped. But um, no, I did end up later finding out when the clasps don't seem to, um, they don't pull the bin together tightly and it left just a tiny little crack, but I think it might have been enough for her to get out of. That's the only thing I can think of. Anyway, I tore apart my office where I keep the geckos to try <laughs> and find her and almost a week later I did end up finding her. Um, she was out for a few days. <laughs> um, but that's okay. Um, I'm glad she's safe. I did put her into a smaller bin for the time being, just to kind of monitor, make sure she's doing okay. She's eating totally fine. Um, she seems to be doing really well, so I don't really have any concerns that she was injured or anything. She was just kind of sleeping. I'll insert a picture here somewhere. She was just kind of like sleeping. Sorry, my hands are really shaky because I have nerve damage from a stroke. Um, but she was just, she was curled up in a little ball under some of my sewing bins and stuff, which, oh my god, I'm so glad that I managed to find her. But yeah, I'm gonna give her some food and see if she'll take it here quickly. So yeah, she's, what I'm doing is I feed Dubai her roaches. I was trying live crickets, but they were, <laughs> all my geckos except for one were kind of petrified of them and they wouldn't eat them um, and the crickets were just kind of like torment them. So I gave up on the live feeding of crickets and unfortunately I can't get live Dubai roaches here, but I did get backpacked, like fresh backpacked ones and they're loving it. So I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Yeah, a little something something right there. It's, you got a little something. <laughs> Did you get it? Oh, no, you're still trying. Yeah, yeah. There you go. You got it that time. <laughs> So yeah, this is Houdini, and that's where her name comes from. So this is another what I believe to be a female. <laughs> As of right now, she is female, and her name is Hecate. Um, and she's probably one of my favorites. I think her colors and markings are really cool. She's actually... I think she is the third gecko I bought. Um, sorry, she's like 
doesn't like being handled a whole lot, so I won't keep her out too long. That sun is also very bright. But this is her. She gets posted on my Instagram a lot. Oh! She's fine, by the way. She has kind of a cool marking on her tail. It reminds me of like a dolphin's tail or something coming up out of the water. I think that's kind of cool. But yeah, I'm gonna put it back. Oh, she's on my tripod now. Flee, flee. Be happy over here. Oh, there you go. Now let's see, will you eat something? <laughs> Well, you're licking it, but I'd rather if you just take, took it. Oops. So this one's very tiny and very fast, so I'm not going to keep him out long because I don't want to lose him amongst my plants. Um, these are all from um, RNR Exotics, by the way. They're such gorgeous geckos. There's like a hair here. Um, but yeah, he's probably the tiniest I have at the moment. Oh! That's what I was trying to hope, hoping to avoid. Um, these guys do eat very, very well. Um, the babies I find, <laughs> they really, really love the insects. Okay, so this one is actually one of my favorites because um, he or she is so, so glowy. Like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it other than like, it has like this really pretty orange tangerine glow down the back and it's just so pretty. The sun's kind of setting right now so it's kind of harsh but I'll insert some pictures to show you what I mean because in the right lighting, oh my goodness, it's one of the most stunning geckos I think that I have. Oops! And this is the last one I'm going to show you live. My one, I have one more that I got, but he's a uh, <laughs> he has himself wedged in between some like um, uh, branches and stuff, and I don't really want to try and tug him out of there. So I'll just insert photos of him after this. But this is my <laughs> biggest one. She's the oldest out of all the ones I got, and she fires up this really, really stunningly beautiful red color. Her name is Marigold. Um, she is named after Tris Marigold, um, one of my favorite games, so she reminded me of her fired up, so I will insert a picture of her fired up because she honestly is just so stunning. She's also very calm. She's one I can like literally take out and hang out with and not have to worry about her escaping or going too far. She's so pretty. So that sums up this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.